Hi, I'm Ed Dill, Health Safety Training and Quality Manager with BMW Energy Services. I provide health safety training and quality management to all of our field and home office employees. At BMW Energy Services, we focus health safety and training in three areas new employees, day to day operations, and field employees. New employees to BMW Energy Services go through a rigorous pre uh, qualification screening. After they successfully do that, then they fall in my lap and I have them usually from two to three weeks. They go through site-specific training at a, maybe one of the safety councils. They'll go through training online, uh, maybe at their house or here in the office. And then we have b and in-house training uh, that is a comprehensive program on all of our equipment, our policies, and our procedures. So all in all, it's three weeks before they even go to the field. Really, it's, a, it's more of a cultural thing as far as you know, the employees go, uh, getting them in. Part of that orientation is the focus on, on, the, on the safety and making sure that's our first priority, giving them the authority to, to stop work if they deem it unsafe, unsafe, regardless of whether it's their direct responsibility or not. There's a lot, a lot that goes into it and, and a lot of time required to get them up to speed. But, uh, it's definitely uh, something that needs to be done for everybody. Day to day in health and safety and quality, because our quality management program is part of our core to our safety program, it starts out, let's say uh, a warehouse employee shows up here at 6 o'clock in the morning. They're going to go through and have a uh, toolbox safety talk about the work that they're going to do for the day. After they complete that, they'll go out and do uh, their inspection of the area. Uh, forklift inspection and equipment inspection and then they'll go back and anything that they discovered or changed uh, throughout the day they'll regroup together and then go over anything that they have to uh, do to make the job safe. And then that's where it all starts really is with the engineering and then once uh, the field portion kicks off then you know that ownership is basically transferred to our field guys uh, they go through everything in detail to make sure that um, you know, that the project kicks off uh, safely and, and we execute it you know, successfully. Field safety for our technical advisors is a little bit different. You can have one guy on a project or you can have 65 guys on a project. So what they'll do is they'll show up on project and they'll do a site-specific evaluation. That hazardous evaluation is for any changes different than a JHA or JSA that's specific to the task at hand for the job location. Then after that is complete and they correct any deficiencies found, then they'll do a toolbox safety talk before every single shift. Hi, my name is Melba Valientos. I'm the operations assistant at uh, BNW. When it comes to our QMS files, what we do is we get the originals from the field guys, we scan them, and then we save them under our projects awarded into each file, whether it be daily reports, job logs, sign-off sheets. We go through a, a lot of papers, uh, depending to how the length of the project. We can have months of uh, paperwork, we can have weeks if it was a short project. Uh, we just make sure that all of the paperwork that comes in is in compliance with our QMS. So a core to b and Energy Services are, is our ISO 9001-2008 certification. We use that as preventive actions, PARs, for any new ideas. So we'll come up with new ideas for health and safety, whether it might be, might be myself or employee in the field. We've done topics such as uniforms. We've done topics such as procedures. We've done topics such as just a job box. All the stuff they need in a toolkit, in a box, so when they show up at site, they have an instant office. So our preventive actions continually improve our health and safety program. Um, I can say, all kinds of different things, but it really what's important is what comes from the employees. Uh, they come up with all kinds of ideas on equipment improvements. If we put it into our system, it's more likely that those will be uh, taken in by everybody in the company and then become uh, our policy. So the ISO 9000 is, is incredibly important because it aligns all the different departments, all our processes and procedures um, with those of the industry standard, also with our customer, to make sure that you know the quality of our services and, and, and what we're providing is, is consistent. Um, from you know, it doesn't matter if it's a uh, Shell or, or a Lyondale or, or you know, in the U.S. or abroad. Um, 
It just basically governs everything that we do and, and makes sure that there's checks and balances in place now just to govern and ensure quality. Why is BW Energy Service the best? Because of the time and effort that we put in behind the scenes to make sure we do it on time, on budget, with zero safety incidents. We do that through a whole comprehensive program with our ISO 9001-2008 base. That we build on that with health, safety, training, environmental, pre-screening of our employees, and continue education for the long haul, whether they're here four years or 24 years. Health safety training never stops. It's not just a goal here, it's the fabric of BW Fluid Dynamics. That's how we survive. We're a small company, and we like doing it right the first time, giving the client what they want.